This is Daughter of Christ. Our dear Muslim friends, you keep telling us the miracle of Muhammad is the Quran. So here's another miracle we've discovered. Cultish verses. A cult is a system where the cult leader gets exclusive benefits above other members of the cult, usually including sexual privileges not available to others in the group. Believe it or not, the Quran provides cultish verses to give Muhammad those extra privileges. For example, all Muslims are allowed to have up to four wives provided they treat them fairly. This is according to Surah 4 verse 3. However, when it comes to Muhammad, not only was he allowed many more than the prescribed four wives, but according to this verse here, he can put aside whom he will or take to himself whom he will. And if he desired a wife whom he separated from previously, he can return to her with no blame. And not only that, the wives themselves should all be satisfied with whatever he gives them. So according to this verse, each wife should be satisfied whether he chooses to take her to himself or to put her aside. Dear Muslims, don't you find it strange that Allah asks Muslims to be fair to their wives, but when it came to Muhammad, Allah tells him to put them aside if he wants, or not, up to him, with no blame? Also, consider this verse, where Allah makes it lawful for Muhammad, for women to give themselves to him, and for him to take them if he wishes. And as the verse says, this is only for you, excluding the other believers. These verses in Surah 33 are cultish verses that give sexual privileges to Muhammad only. So much so that it caused Aisha herself to be suspicious, like we see in this hadith, narrated Aisha, I felt jealous of the women who offered themselves to Allah's Messenger. That's when the verse was revealed, you may defer any of them you wish and take to yourself any you wish. And that's when Aisha said, it seems to me that your Lord hastens to satisfy your desire. Notice that it's Sahih Hadith, and also notice the very eye-catching title of this section of Hadiths. So Aisha herself had a problem with the women, plural, who were offering themselves to Muhammad, and that's when the conveniently cultish verse was revealed, that, according to Aisha herself, perfectly matched Muhammad's desire. Dear Muslims, if a person today makes himself leader of a new religion, then gives himself the right to have many more wives than all his followers, and has women gift themselves to him, a privilege only to him and not given to anybody else in the group, what would you think of that person? Well, that's exactly what Muhammad did in the 7th century. And when this happens today, a person like that is arrested and thrown in prison. Here's a case that made the news last year. A leader of a sex cult was arrested who exploited women, including a 15-year-old girl. Muslims, 15 is 6 years older than 9, and it's a whole 9 years older than 6. Anyway, this cult leader oversaw a slave-master system. Hmm, a slave-master system. Sound familiar? Anyway, let's continue. He sold himself as the most ethical person in the world. Wow. Well, if he called himself messy to mankind, that would be uncanny. He denied child pornography and sexual exploitation charges. So, even though it was clearly paedophilia, he's still pleading not guilty. That's interesting. I know some cult followers who still defend that kind of thing too. Our decent dear Muslim friends. We love you too much to see you follow a cult leader. You trust him with your eternity and it breaks the heart of God. We invite you to leave him behind and to come to the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who had no sin in him, who came to earth to take your sins upon himself and save your soul.